First Alert forecast only on Fox 47 News at 10. Not looking good for the Tigers. Maybe we can blame the weather on uh, the first half of the no, uh, game. I'll start by the third base coach back in the second <laughs> inning. But other than that, <laughs> um, the, the weather is, uh, it got a little misty there. We've had some showers, but it's clearing out. And temperatures now are falling pretty fast. That's going to be the case tonight. We are going to get down in the 30s, a whole different start to the morning hours than we've had lately with the temperatures in the 30s. Our temperatures out there now are on their way down there. You see the coolest reading up there in Ithaca at 43 degrees. There's uh, still a few isolated showers and they really are isolated after all that rain. It was steady through the afternoon. You see it's coming in off the lake. The lake is pretty mild, 60 degree plus water temperatures. You bring readings in the 40s over it and Yes, there's such a thing as lake effect clouds and rain showers, and that's what we're seeing out there just a little bit. And the high temperatures today across the region, not all that warm. Everybody running a little bit below normal, except for the folks in the UP. They're a little closer to what it should be. The readings just aren't going to warm up much. We are going to try to get a southwest breeze going later in the day, and that will get temperatures closer to 60, I think upper 50s. And we start with a lot of sunshine, so that's good news as we go through the morning hours. The temperatures out there right now are in the 40s, and they're going to cool to the 30s. It could even be some patchy frost in northern sections of mid-Michigan as we get in this nice little clearing wedge that's coming in. But it's not going to last. You see what's going in out, out to the west. Here comes another low pressure, which is right here. And a cold front trails from that, and that comes into the evening hours tomorrow. So the first part of the day, just like we saw the last two, will be dry. But we got to throw a few isolated showers in when we get into the afternoon time. And that will uh, mean maybe even some of those Friday evening games might see a few showers. But our low pressure that's caused today's rain off to the northeast. Here is the front. A lot of cool air around. What's happening is there's going to be a big push of warm air from the Pacific Ocean into Alaska and western parts of Canada. And by next week, that dislodges the cold air and brings it right into the central U.S. And that's what we're going to feel this weekend and all of next week as we go well below normal. Now the showers are done here as we go through the next couple of hours. We get some breaks as you see in the morning hours, but quickly will turn partly cloudy to mostly cloudy for the afternoon hours. As the front approaches, you see these isolated showers, a possibility. Nothing real major here in the rainfall department for the daytime. Now overnight with the colder weather coming across Lake Michigan, you see how some of those showers work their way back inland again. Could be a few showers scattered about through Saturday. Not much sunshine and a pretty chilly day with a high only around 50 again. Spartan game, that's at home at noon. You got the Wolverine game home at 3.30. Could be a shower for either one of those, and even uh, going down the South Bend down there with the USC in town, they could see some showers. Now, as we go to the overnight, there's yet another system. More showers coming in for Sunday morning, then we'll catch a break for Sunday afternoon. You see the cold weather dumping in. We get it over the weekend, and then the strongest push of cold temperatures comes in the middle part of next week. You'll see that in the seven days. So our rain is ending here. Clouds are breaking and that means our temperatures head down to the 30s. So you can be bundling up on the way to uh, work or school. Our 1-800 Hanson's weather kid, that's Michael from Lansing, four years old, and he's prepared for a cloudy afternoon. Could be a stray shower towards evening. 58 is the high temperature. Scattered showers on Saturday, Sunday, and even next week. You see how we get those temperatures that just keep on falling. Highs next week only in the mid, maybe upper 40s with low temperatures near freezing. It would not be out of the question that come Tuesday or Wednesday, especially at night, we could mix in some sleet or even a few snowflakes with some of those rain showers. But with the lake temperature so warm and the wind off the lake, it's hard to do that. But it certainly is going to be cold enough with readings trying to recover after that next week is done. Get the galoshes or grab the gators from uh, hunting season. <laughs> You'll need everything. Gloves, <laughs> hats, uh, it's pretty chilly at the bus stop. All right, thanks, Andy. Mm -hmm. Stay with us. We've got more. Stay